Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Factorio. Last episode, we were working on getting our yellow science going. And um, I've got everything fed in with stuff now. Very specifically stuff. And we are waiting on what at this current time? Oh, we're waiting on that to empty. That is kind of an important thing. So what I'm going to do is do something like that. Something like that. And then have this wrap back around. And then go into... Actually, technically, could just go right here. Make it a little bit more efficient. Uh, active provider? No, passive provider. And then that can be... A whole bunch. There we go. So now all we need to do is connect the bottom. Up and in there. And all of our yellow signs will now be good to go. Sweet! We now have purple and yellow signs going. It's not ideal for like fast, awesome, huge size and speed, but it'll be right. All right, worker robot power cells would be nice. Inventory, might as well. <laughs> okay. So right now we are waiting on, I guess we are waiting. Oh yeah, three science. Oh yeah, so the basically what we're waiting on is more of these guys. Thing is, I'm probably going to have to ramp up my blue science production in order to keep up with the demand because we're not even getting our last two. So maybe we should be running that red all the way down. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. A little bit of a little bit of fixing here. There's that. That's red. So that's red all the way down. Sweet, I already had red. Nice. So let's go ahead and continue there. Is it a one to one? No, it's a 20 to two. Okay. A 10 to one. Jeez. But it seems to be catching up now, so that's fine. All right, well, you know what? This is not perfect. Um, ideally, I would need a whole lot more of these to feed this full amount, but now I know that that's not going to feed it. I'll just have to work on it later. Uh, but hey, we have yellow signs working, and that's what matters right now. So, um, speed modules probably, once again, limit that to there. Limit that to there. Because that gives us two buffers. We don't need two buffers, really don't need two buffers because that's a requester chest it, ideally technically we would want that to be a provider chest if we need it later but you know what i ain't even worried about that I, I ain't even worried about that uh it would be nice to have just a singular standard buffer for these units but this is just no point for it i'm not looking to have <clears throat> my modules fed into the system because i don't really use modules like that Okay, show. Uh, yeah, our our technology is moving. Thankfully, that's awesome. Um, so our robo port should now be able to uh, recharge faster. Uh, our power looks good, and that is awesome. Okay. So uh, iron's still low. This oil here. Do we have? logic set up. We don't have tank logic set up. So maybe what I'll do is go ahead and um, set up tank logic here and then remove that um, YARM profile or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's go do that. And then I think we're going to, from here, we're going to go um, or from there, rather, we're going to go and uh, get that. Oh, goodness get that iron ore that I added to the map earlier. Oh boy. I don't think this is where I need to go. I think it's the next one down. Okay. Sounds good. How about you? You guys are not quite full yet. And we have just the, if it equals zero, any of it. Okay. Um, so 4.9, this 37, 
So is that full? That is full. So 37, that'd be 7 to 14, 60, 74. 74K, is that right? Because that doesn't sound right. Hmm, what did I set the other one to? 74K? Greater than 50K. Okay, that works for me. Okay. Greater than 50K. That makes more sense. So, um, goodness. I'm wondering, this holds 25K. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make something here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But we'll do something like that. So that way, everything is coming into here and getting put into our tanks. And then um, when the tanks are full, hopefully they're just getting pushed out into, into our pump here. So I think that's how that works. I could be wrong. But since these hold 25 each, they'll be 75. And I think what we'll do is the greater than 50K. And that way I can just link these guys down to this and not have to worry about running red lines between all these guys. So let's go ahead and do here, here, here down here can just go like it's not far enough let's just move one more down hip 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 and hip oh man okay do that if oil is greater or equal to 50 go ahead and bring a train over i think that sounds right so that's holding 30. I feel like maybe that should be more though. It's 35. If we did 35. So that'd be 70. Yeah, let's do 70. So that way a train's not just sitting here waiting the whole time. Let's go ahead. Uh, where there's no drop off right now, so you're just gonna have to hang out. Okay, so that is that. We'll get rid of this guy. Then we have copper. Ooh, that little thing of copper is almost done, but that's fine. We have more copper though, right? Cool. We have some iron ore. Where's that iron? That's being produced or worked on. That's still being worked on. Nice. That's way up north there. Uh, copper, that's good. Copper here. Oh, yeah, we're doing good there. Um, yeah, we just need a whole bunch of iron ore. So let's go ahead and get that going. What do you have to do in this game? Um, that's really up to you. Uh, the whole point of the game, it's kind of a sandbox to make a big, awesome factory. And uh, if you have non-peaceful mode on, then you have to deal with the biters and stuff, which are all these guys out here that try to take your base down. Um, but it's really, if, if you enjoy like problem solving and logistics and stuff like that, this that's what this game's all about. Okay. Um, so where was that first iron? So there was something. Oh, there we go. So there's iron two, iron one is over there. So I'm thinking. I'm currently here, I believe. Let's just go ahead and uh, head over to this and then we'll work something down and around. I think that's going to have to do. I think that's going to have to work. I'm okay with that. Ooh, okay. This is a one-man factory game. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a one-man factory game if... You're not playing multiplayer. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's that's basically it. It's all about automation. So you set up machines to do tasks for you, and then you build machines to do machine to make those machines do the tasks for you, and so on and so forth. And it just kind of goes from there. Like, like all this I've I've made by hand. Like all this is stuff I've done. This is, none of that was pre-built. So I'm kind of proud of it, and I'm running into, into, into stuff, like I always do. Okay. So we should be able to get over here now. I 
and you'll notice here that I've got a lot of trains going because I've, I've did a train base build so that way I have trains transporting a significant portion of my my products my items and I'm working on transferring from a train base build to a bot base build but my bots aren't powerful enough to really support the uh, the production of the factory just yet so I'm working on that and as I'm doing that I'm running out of materials so that's why I got to go get more iron and uh, we're gonna have to deal with some biters here in a minute and hopefully I was smart enough to bring some landfill with me I have 228 so I'm gonna have to make a really thin bridge <laughs> okay so if I go from this point over whew, that's gonna be messy do I have enough? I do have enough uh, ammo. So let's do this. Let's put this down here. And then uh, make that whole lot smaller. Just like a tiny, tiny little bridge. And then we have to come back later and make it larger. Can I just hold it down? Apparently not. Gotta hit the button a bunch of times. There we go. Can I make it all the way across? Can I make it smaller? Yeah, I can. Okay. Ooh, ooh, boy. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Oh, that's going to be close. No, that's not going to be close. And I'm out. Okay. Well, that was smart. So we'll go pick up some landfill, wipe off the mustache, because coffee. Make sure we have enough tracks. So we have 955. It looks like that's all we have. So maybe we should get some of those going as well. We need steel for that. We can drive all the way back to the other side of the base. You know what? I should probably put landfill on my requester thing. But I need to improve my logistics. So that'll be the next thing I unlock if I can remember. But what am I? Oh, oh, oh. ran into the water. <laughs> need to put landfill there. Why can you craft a gun? You can craft a gun. Um, you can craft uh, tanks. Wherever those guys went. Wherever those guys went. Wherever those guys went. You can do tanks. You can do artillery wagons. You can do turrets. Um, actually, I don't know. I'm not right next to any right now. But as I go down, you'll see that I have walls with defenses. And they have uh, turrets and stuff near them. Like right here, that's a line of turrets. These are all turrets that I had before. Yeah, if you stick around for a bit, you'll actually see some of the aliens because that's when I'm working my way over to that uh, that one area where that iron patch is. I'm going to be taking down those aliens and uh, getting that iron. Makes me nervous when I speed up in this little car. I never remember if I've left myself enough space to get through. There we go. Okay. So these are on provider chests. I need to just uh, Add them to my requester slots. So what do I have that I don't need? Maybe these mining robots. Let's just get rid of those and do landfill because that would be more useful, honestly. Let's just do 10, 1K. Yeah, that works. 
Then let's fix our vehicle because the bots aren't doing that right now. And then was there anything else that I needed while I was here? I mean, I have guns. I have turrets. Plenty of turrets. I need to repair these turrets. Let's do that. Must have been from the last time I went out. Uh, they didn't add that in, I mean, unless they did add that in point 16 and I was not aware of it, um, the, uh, the wearing down of the paths is actually a mod that I have. It's one of those nice, um, oh goodness, you took all those bullets away from me? Oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I ain't worried. Let's get on out of here. Head back on over and see if we can take down that biter nest before the end of this episode because that would be cool and also not getting hit by trains uh, I guess I don't need to be going that way I need to make myself some better direct paths and the idea is once I get everything switched fully over to bots I'll have some external train networks coming in and feeding bot loading stations and then I'll, I'll basically have a nice little area where I can do use a singular train as a way to get around the uh, the map faster just by clicking a button saying hey this is where I want to go but since everything's kind of named the same I can't really say hey take me to the the ore quarry because we have like three or four different you know similar names it's just a uh, logistical incompatibility I guess And I need to get rid of that rock. You know, instead of saying I'm going to do it and then never do it, I'm going to go ahead and take him down. So it needs to happen. And since I have some of this, let's go ahead and fill this in. So I ran into it last time as well. Is there any more here that I didn't see? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> sure, that's fine. All right. Now we have some stone out of the way. A little bit more of a clear driving path. Okay, drive back down to where we were. I'll probably make the bridge a bit wider. Because I will need to make it wide enough for trains. And now that we're not hurting for... Um... Landfill. I can go ahead and make it wide enough for the trains to get through. And then when it's time to get towards the biters... Uh, that might be a little too big. Then I'll uh, I'll keep it narrow. Here, let's. I mean, this is just gonna be loud regardless. Unless I were to just do it like this. Yeah, I'll just do it like this. There's fine. Okay. Is there a death counter? If you look in the top uh, le left hand side, uh, if you see my, my title up there that says the Hagger Nerd, if you look to the left of that, it says death six. That is how many times I've died in this save. There's a mod for Factorio, not something for the usual streams. All right. Instead of making my bots work, I'm just going to go to this manually and hopefully keep it even. Apparently I suck at that though. It's fine. Oh man, out of coffee. So now I have more inventory space. So let's go ahead and get our logistics stuff figured out. So there should be something with logistics slots. That's trash slots. That's uh, logistics slots. There we go. We'll do that. <laughs> I 
All right, so the fun part's about to happen. It doesn't look... Oh, they're just hanging out right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bolster my defenses right here before I connect everything. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of lines of turrets. Maybe four lines and then a couple lines on the top in case they come somehow from the sides. I don't think that's a thing that's going to happen, but and then we'll get rid of this one in the middle. All right, cool. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and near this down to a singular little cutoff and uh, maybe make it just one wide. So that way, if anybody does come through, I have to fit through that tiny little area. I'm also going to clear this out so I can see what I'm doing. So if I'm coming running back for desperation, I can do that. All right. Okay, so um, we are dealing with two large nests and two smaller nests. I'm going to go up towards the north and work my way down. And hide the trees here for a minute. Okay, so there's one patch down. Um, let's put our stuff there. Oh, I already have them here. Whoops. <laughs> Good. This shouldn't be too, too bad. Bigger base. This shouldn't be too crazy. Of course, this this mod that I have makes this just infinitely easier than it should be. There's just like no difficulty to it other than just making sure you don't get hit. Alrighty, let's get rid of these guys and go and take the rest of that other base out. Oh, little delay there. I don't know why the, the the alerts in this game are delayed like they have been. Is that it? <laughs> I think that was it. Awesome. So now I'm going to completely just get rid of all this. Uh, I don't want the fish though. So we're going to be a little bit more strategic about how we're picking stuff up. Do not need the fish. I have plenty of fish already in my inventory. Probably from this exact process. Is that... It does change the gameplay a lot. Like, I don't even know if... Like, I don't like to have to manually put the ammo in, but in the same respect, it does need to be more difficult. Like, that's normally why I do the whole uh, natural evolution, because if they can overrun you with, like, bigger, crazier mobs, then it's worth the challenge. You know, trying to just spam turrets like that doesn't even keep up with it, but I don't have natural evolution on. Um, and it's too late in the game really to add it in. So, uh, it is just kind of is what it is. It's going to be semi easy mode in this playthrough. I'm just trying to give myself enough space to put, um, miners down. Oh, I realize that's probably killing everybody's ears. I do apologize. Almost done. Almost done. Good enough. All right, Matthew. Thanks for hanging out, bud. Alrighty. Show. Sure. Um, let's go ahead and get our 
Did I ever make a blueprint? I think I did, and I erased it. I think I said that last time, too. But it's fine. So, um, let's go ahead and mark this. Should be plenty there. There's a couple little stragglers out here, but we'll get them. Okay. So, 14,454,006. I love it. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to take a while to do, but it will be awesome. Yeah, 14 million. This should uh, set us up for a while. And hopefully, if I can make this uh, as spread out as possible with the, the, the lines coming in, um, we can fill up trains fast because there will be more throughput and more uh, drills working at the same time. I think. Can you drive in the water now? You can't. Not without like some sort of boat mod. Okay. So um, I I know this is going to be a little early to stop this episode, but I think what I'm going to do is in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and build this out so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do this. Uh, for the uploaded version of this on the guys on the stream, uh, you're out of luck. It just is what it is. Uh, so guys, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like what I do, hit the like button. If you want to help my channel grow, guys, share my videos, share my live streams, leave likes, leave comments, all the good stuff. The more you guys participate, the bigger we grow. Definitely want to do that. So I appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. And also, if you're over on the Twitch or the Mixture side, hit that follow button as well. I'd appreciate it. And guys, uh, just heads up, we get a giveaway going on. So make sure you check the link in the description for more information. So guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.